everybody, it's Tiffany and I'm back with an Ulta haul and I went online, did some shopping and thought I would go ahead and share that with you all. So I've got my box right here in front of me and we'll go ahead and get started. Um, before I, well actually before I get started, I have this box from Influencer and I thought I would go ahead and share it because it's from Redken and Redken products are also carried at Ulta and sometimes Ulta will have a hair event. And I thought it would be cool to show, um, or at least look at the two products, which we have, both of these are for styling. That's called the Ultimate Blowout Duo for a bombshell blowout. Um, and so we have a spray here for a quick blowout. They both have heat protectant. And then there's a gel um, in the tube. So I thought that would be cool. If you're looking for a new heat protectant and you like Redken products, maybe that's something to check out. Redken's always been a pretty good brand, and I know that growing up it was one of my mother's favorite brands for hair care. So, all right, now to get into the actual haul. Uh, first thing that I picked up is from Pacifica, um, and it's the Coconut Milk Detangler Elixir Hydration and Rehab for Naughty Knots with Coconut and Vitamin B5. And it's formulated without silicone, which I thought was important. Because um, there are some hair masks and stuff that can, they can help um, break up knots and stuff, but they have silicone on it. And as you know, silicone will make your hair feel soft and silky, but it just also leaves a layer of gunk on your hair. So it's not the best for you. Um, and so I thought I would try this out from Pacifica. And of course, Pacifica is vegan and cruelty free. So I was happy to try that out. Hopefully it works because I get, I mean, I can have my hair completely unknotted, smooth one day, go to bed, wake up the next day and have knots again um, because of the texture of my hair is just very prone to doing so. So we got that. Um, the next thing that I picked up was from, it's from Remington and it's a pen trimmer and I'm really excited about this um, because it also has a light. And it's just for trimming like facial hair so you can detail the brows um, my boyfriend has a beard so if you wanted to really trim up his beard and have it looking sharp um, that would be good um, and along that same note he had he's got trimmers and clippers um, and the trimmer has an adjust like a top on it where you can take it off and put different things on it and one thing it does it has is a ear and nose trimmer and he left it on the counter in our bathroom and I'm pretty sure our little cat probably knocked it off and ran off with it so now he needs a new one so I picked up one from Conair um, I figured this would help it's got three three levels of I guess length I don't know no pulling nicks or cuts guaranteed so and of course Conair is a reputable brand um, next thing I picked up was actually a really good deal um, and I always look for this for the Urban Decay, but I thought I would try something different since this is a newer product from uh, Benefit. And this is the uh, Professional Super Setter Steel. So the p newer Professional Setting Spray. Um, it was, I think I got this for 40 bucks. It does suggest it retails 42, but I thought, I'm pretty sure I paid a couple bucks less. Um, but it's two, two setting sprays that are both of full size. And normally I think they're like 30 something a piece. So um, I got that because I can always use more setting spray. I do wear makeup frequently and I'm planning on doing it more. Um, they were also having five times the points on products, um, Urban Decay products in specific was one of them. And so I thought this would be a good time to try the new Stay Naked Hydro Maniac uh, Tinted Glow Hydrator. Um, of course, I typically like full coverage foundations and I know this isn't one um, so I'm very curious to see how I would like that because I've never tried a tinted moisturizer um, so I thought that would be cool packaging is gorgeous too by the way so that was, that's on my things of, list of things to try um, since it's the 21 days of beauty another thing that was on sale was these iconic lashes and I love these lashes so much uh, they were half off, normally $12 a piece, and so I thought I would just pick up a couple because I can get quite a few uses, and I have a lot of lashes already. Um, it's just the style is super flirty and pretty, so I thought I would add that to my 
collection of lashes. Um, I was also looking at some brushes. I had decluttered a ton of brushes that I know that I didn't like, that I like I had bought them in hopes of liking them and that I, I didn't. So I decluttered that to my friend just so she can give it, if she doesn't like it, she can give it to her niece who can play with it. Um, but I so far have been liking Essence eye brushes. Um, and I just posted a tutorial where I was using uh, one of their blender brushes. And so I was looking at one of their face brushes for powder um, because sometimes I do powder my face or possibly use this for blush or something of that nature. Um, so I picked this up and it was only a few bucks. Uh, they're very, Essence in general is very inexpensive. I think a lot, of, most of their products is under $5 in general. So I thought I would try that. And then I was super intrigued by this Real Techniques brush. Uh, it says Rebel Edge Medium Rebel Edge Blush and Brightener. And it's odd looking. And I was kind of intrigued by the fact that it's not like a normal shape. Um, and that the bristles are different. So I thought that that actually might apply blush quite pretty. So I picked that up. Next thing I picked up, I got two of. One for myself and one for my friend. And this is from uh, KK uh, Kim Kardashian West Beauty. And this is a cream lipstick in the shade Nude 1. So I'm going to set hers aside. Um, packaging is really pretty. This was on sale for only a couple bucks. Um, I don't know if it's because the line's getting revamped or what. But the packaging is kind of cute. It's like also kind of reminds me of like the one dollar elf lip sticks that they had back in the day. I don't know if they still have those or not. At the same time, not. And it's in this really pretty nude shade. Ooh, yeah, I really like that. And I think that'll look good on her too, especially with her tan. Um, so I picked that up. Ooh, I kind of wish I was wearing that today. Actually, it's really pretty. Okay. Next thing I have, I thought was going to be a lot bigger, and I don't know why. I guess the image on Ulta's website just kind of made me think it was going to be bigger. This is the Revlon Prime and Plus Perfecting and Smoothing Makeup Skin Care Primer. So I was just curious. I wanted to try primer. I have, I don't usually use primers, but when I do, um, like I all I mean, of course I use it. But I don't have many, like I only have a couple, and one of them is running out. So I thought I would do that. And then to go with that lipstick, I don't know, since this is something different. Is this it? Yes. Okay. And so for my friend, she's starting to get into makeup, and she was telling me some things that she wanted to get for herself. Um, and I thought for her, for her just getting into makeup, um, Essence, like I just said, um, is a very inexpensive brand um, that's very budget-friendly, and they have some good products. I thought I would get her an eyebrow pencil. It's only a couple bucks um, in her shade, which is, I think this is medium brown. So she's got an eyebrow pencil. Put that up there with that. And then she doesn't, well, this will be really pretty too. I'm not going to swatch this because this is hers. But I got a lip liner for her. She has very small lips. So I'm going to show her how to overdraw just a little bit. To where it still looks natural, but to where it kind of emphasizes what she has. Um, and so this is an Essence lip liner, and this is in the shade, where is it? True Me. So, I love that. I have been seeing all kinds of videos where people have been talking about this Essence Shine 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 lip gloss. It's just a plain clear lip gloss, and I don't actually have a plain clear gloss in my collection anymore um i had went through this phase where i like decluttered almost all of my lip glosses i only have like maybe four um of different shades and of course i don't have a clear one which is good to put over anything but i've been starting to get back into wearing like regular lipsticks not just matte liquid lipsticks and glosses and so i thought this would be pretty and this would be pretty to go over maybe some of the matte liquid lipsticks so that they look wet, especially this, this green color that I just purchased. So I got that, and I'm really excited to try that because I've heard so many good things. I'm actually running out of body wash. Well, I ran out of body wash, and then I was panicking, 
and then I found out that I had the Sol de Janeiro um, Boom Boom Cream Body Wash. That hadn't even been opened yet, so. But I had already ordered this. And, like, uh, we have soap and stuff. Looks like this is leaked open a little. Yeah, they usually they tape the lid down. They didn't in this case. Ooh, okay. Well, this is from Nivea. Yeah, you can see it's everywhere. This is the Nourishing Body Wash with a Nourishing Serum. Enriched with a unique blend of plant-derived essential oils, skin lipids, and vitamins. It's in Botanical Blossom. And it smells fabulous. It smells really clean. Almost like a deodorant. Like a fresh, slightly floral deodorant. Um, and it's really thick. Oh, that's good. So I'm excited to use that. It's moisturizing and I'm dry, so. Um, for getting the Benefit sprays, I don't see myself using this at all, so this will probably go in somebody's Christmas. Um, but it's this super soft pillowy like makeup bag and it's cute because it's got what does it say on the front oh it says it's pink oh pink is my happy place and then it's got this gold trim and this gold zipper that says benefit cosmetics i thought it was cute so i i have been looking at going ahead and starting getting like holiday stuff um Last thing that I purchased, though, which is cute, it goes with that, kind of, um, is from the Vintage Company. The Vintage Company has multiple things on Ulta's website that look super cute. And this is a body set. And I thought it would be great for, like, when I want to put my makeup on or take it off because it comes with, let's see, it comes with a shower cap. Or it's just over here. It's a satin shower cap. It's so pretty. Uh, this pink bow to, like, put your hair back. Um, a shower poof so that you can wash your body and then what I thought were two washcloths are actually makeup removing cloths um, that are supposed to be similar to like the makeup remover uh, cloth that we know because uh, it says that you can use it to just like just with water you don't need an actual cleanser or anything to get it off so thought that was cool and they had like multiple styles of, like this kit was, I think, was the only one that came in that kind of style. But they have like different styles and caps and all that. Um, if that's something you're interested in or you think might be a good stocking stuffer. So, um, something, something to think about. But that's it. That's everything that I hauled. Um, I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And stay tuned for my next one. Bye.